In this tutorial, we will show you how to find recently published articles from a specific journal as well as how to download those articles once you find them. We'll start at the library homepage and click on the journal titles tab above the search box. Now, if you search for the journal title in this box, you will be given a long list of databases that have access to the journal as well as the publication date that is housed within those databases. However, if you just want to see the most recently published volume of a journal, using Browsine is a little easier. Browsine is a search interface for journals that gives a table of contents view of recent issues. You can also sign up for a Browsine account and keep track of multiple journals across different databases. To access Browsine, just click the link in that journal titles tab. On the Browsine page, you can either browse by an academic subject like Arts and Humanities, uh, and then you can see all of the different art, uh, journals that might that have are related to arts and humanities. You can also uh, limit by a more specific uh, subject as well. But if you know the title of the journal that you are looking for or the ISSN, you can actually search in Browsing and then find the ter the title within that results list that comes up. On the journals page, uh, it automatically shows the most recent issue that's been published. You can navigate to older issues by using the years and then volume controls on the right side, the left side of the screen. Okay. Um, if you end up needing to access articles that are older than what's being shown in browsing, the see all option at the very bottom links you to a results list in Journal Finder where you can see which databases have access to the years that you need. Okay. But if you know if your article is within the more recent years that are held in browsing, you can just go into browsing and there are a couple of ways to get to the full text of this article. So you can click on the title of the article. This is going to open up a new window and it will take you to the database that is actually holding on to that article. If you're off campus, you'll need to log in with your unique name and password at this point before you can see it in the, the database. Um, why you might want to see the journal article in a database is that there's often a little bit more functionality in a database. For example, there are a lot of live links, uh, especially with references in a database. You can also sometimes see some related research. There's, so there's a little bit more functionality within this database, but you should still be able to download a PDF um, this way. But if you just want a PDF, plain and simple, of this particular article on the browsing page, click the download PDF icon underneath the title. Again, you will need to log in with your unique name and password if you're off campus and have not logged in already. I've already done so. But it will open up a new window with that full text PDF right there. And now I can go ahead and download it. Depending on what browser you're using, the download might look a little bit different, but in my case, um, mine is up in the upper right corner. I click on download and I can either open it or save the file directly. In my case, it's going to go into my downloads folder and then I can rename this um, and then move it to wherever I want to go. All right. So that is browsing in a nutshell. It's pretty simple, um, but if you need more help with browsing or want more information about accessing full text articles through the library, we put together a playlist of tutorials on our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about browsing, please ask a librarian. Thank you for watching.